Use code SPIKEFEEDERS for 5% off at facetofacegames.com. You can shop face-to-face games in US dollars, Canadian dollars, or even euros, and they'll ship just about everywhere. That's code SPIKEFEEDERS at checkout at facetofacegames.com to help support the show. What's up, Spikes? Welcome back to the Spike Feeders World Headquarters here in Winnipeg, Manitoba. I'm Alex, and today we're playing Warhammer 40,000 decks, Hell Jim. Yeah, we are. And we got some great special guests. Everybody say hi to Josh and Thirsty. I'm sorry. What are you I thought for? we were I thought we were playing Warhammer 40,000. I brought my minis and every oh, I'm, oh well, I'm, I'm I'm really sorry Thirsty. No. We're actually playing Magic today. Yeah, we're playing the only game of Oh, Warhammer. I played that in the Years of Saga. I'll be fine. <laughs> we're playing the only uh, game of Warhammer you can play right now where you don't have to build the models or the terrain. You can just buy the pieces and play them. Wow. <laughs> anyway, guys, uh, today I am playing the Imperium Precon deck. It's an Esper deck that's focused around getting out a sizable amount of medium-sized creatures, tokens, plus one, plus one counters, generally trying to control the board through one-off effects and overrun you with the inexorable might of mankind. I am playing the Tyranid Swarm deck, which is a teamer, go big, go light, or go home, starring the Swarm Lord, who you never actually want to meet because he's actually smarter than you. The hive mind is not filled with just brainless bugs. Uh, the deck is built around lots of the ravenous mechanic, X cost, when X is five or more, you can draw a card. Uh, lots of overwhelming resource advantage. So hopefully I'll be able to leverage that against these fine folks. Hi, I'm Thurston. I'm going to be playing uh, the Chaos deck, which I know uses Cascade, or at least the Commander has it. So we'll see what else it does together, because I will not understand this deck until I play. <laughs> uh, yeah, and hi, I'm Jim. Uh, I'm playing Necron Dynasties. This is a mono black deck. Uh, it is heavily based on sacrificing, bringing stuff back from the graveyard. It's also got a really strong artifact theme. Uh, from what I gather, it's it's a bunch of people that kind of sold their their bodies into uh, mech android. Close enough. Yeah, 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 there you, yeah go. you got it. You got it. You got yeah. it. Yeah. I feel like that would be a really good um, like a series, maybe of like <laughs> you know, like drunk history. It'd be like yeah. that. But it would be me explaining Warhammer lore. <laughs> I've, I've, I've I've had a friend who wants to learn Warhammer lore, and her and I have been like. You should do a podcast where I just explain things yeah. about this. Or setting. you know what'd be good? There's a TikTok channel where um, a guy, they, it's like three people sing show tunes, and one of them doesn't know the lyrics. And like every every third line, he's got a complete. Oh no! <laughs> anyway, Alex won the die roll. I sure did. Mm -hmm. I'm going to start the game. So we're going to start off by drawing a card. We'll play Plains into Saul Ray. Mm -hmm. Sir, sir, how dare you? And then we'll pass the turn. Uh, thank you. You're I welcome. will untap, nothing, no upkeep triggers, draw for turn. That is a Magic the Gathering card that I'm actually going to drop on the field right now. We've got a Temple of Mystery, which will let me scry one. Do I want to keep this card? Uh, no. Let us put that on the bottom. Oh, that's good for us. That's very good for us. All of you terrify me. <laughs> and I will shift the turn. I will play a Sunken Hollow that enters the battlefield tapped, and that will be my turn. <laughs> Does that gain you a life or anything? No, no, nope. no, no. It just enters tapped and lets me get two different colors of mana. Seems great. Yeah, seems awesome. Mm -hmm. I'll draw a card. I'm gonna play a swamp and I will pass. Pass the turn, all right. We'll untap, upkeep, and draw. I forgot to draw. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna that in post. No, 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 do it live, do it live. <laughs> uh, this time we are going to one, two, three, four, a Space Marine Scout. <gasps> it's an Astarte Scout 2 1. First Strike and Vigilance. It also has Concealed Position. When it enters the battlefield, if an opponent controls more lands than you, aww, I could have searched for a planes and put it onto the battlefield. Well, I had to go first. I'm at such a disadvantage. Yeah. I, I really am. Here's a Path <laughs> of Ancestry, and I'll pass the turn. Mm. No, untap, no upkeep triggers. Draw for turn. You are a fun Magic the Gathering card and not a custom strat card from Games Workshop, which I was on one level legitimately terrified about seeing. <laughs> we are going to drop an island on the field featuring a lovely uh, beater tendril for a hive ship up in space for whatever world we're actually playing on. Tapping to, we're going to drop this arcane signet on the field featuring the hand of a gene stealer cultist. Tap at one mana of any color in your commander's col color identity. 
countless Xenos, cults dwell unseen within the Imperium, lurking just beneath the surface. Reading the narrative, oh snap, it got real. <laughs> it, it has always been real and will never, in fact, not be real. Your turn. All right, awesome. I will uh, drop down this here swamp and then I'll tee up for two and I will play a Talisman of Indulgence, mm -hmm. which uh, allows me to get colorless or take burn for black or red. That's cool. cool. Okay, I'll draw a card. I'm gonna play a swamp. I'm gonna cast a Chronomancer. <gasps> oh! Uh, this is a Necron wizard. It's a 1 1 with flying and it's got an activated ability where I can pay one and tap it and sacrifice another artifact to draw a card. It also has Unearth for three mana. Seems good. And I'll pass. We'll untap upkeep and draw. It is wonderful that the Necron deck has so much unearth because a lot of the Necrons yeah. in the lore will just rise up from whatever planet they have been sleeping on for the last 60 million years. Oh, that's good. Yeah, <laughs> he's coming right out of the door. I've been sleeping, I've been snoozing for a long time. You better get ready. <laughs> wow. Uh, I will play Choked Estuary. When it enters the battle, as it enters the battlefield, I may reveal an island or a swamp card like this one. That's a swamp card. Ooh, to allow swamp. it to enter the battlefield untapped. Cool. Uh, then I will pay one, two, three, four, five, floating one mana, to cast Inquisitor Greyfax. <gasps> a vigilant 3-3 three, three human Inquisitor with other creatures you control get plus one, plus zero, and have vigilance, and one and a tap to tap target creature and opponent controls and investigate, which gives me a clue token, which I can sacrifice to draw a card. I cast a creature using Path of Ancestry mana that shares a type with my commander, since it is my commander, so I'll scry one. Again, a lovely connection to Warhammer Flavor 4 lore. Uh, Inquisitors are like a lot like detectives for the Imperium, trying to find out heretics, mm. Xenos, mutants, anything that the Imperium doesn't like. Lots of stories, including some of the best in 40k lore, are based around Inquisitors walking around and investigating things that are wrong. Yeah, the tide yeah. of the clue token. I like it. Yeah. Mm. Uh, I will then move the Space Marine Scout into its attack phase against Jim for three. Rude. That's no. got first strike? Yeah, sure does. Uh, yeah, I'll take three. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> Filthy Xenos. Pass the turn. <laughs> <laughs> Untap, upkeep, no triggers. Draw four turn. We are going to drop a foray as our land for a turn. We are going to tap this island and this foray to drop a Nexos, a sergeant of the Jane Stealer cult, who is a 2 2 2 drop human tyranid advisor with strategic coordinator, basic lands you control, have tap for two colorless. Spend this mana only on costs that contain X, which my deck has so much of. Oh, that's so good in that deck. Holy buckets. Yeah, uh -huh. I will leave that there. Funny thing about the Nexus, it has a miniature that has a little <laughs> holographic display with it. And the holographic display is actually a representation of Games Workshop's office. That's really cool. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'll untap. I will put down a swamp. And then I will tap for four. And I have decided I will take one point of damage on myself for the red. And then I will, um, because I've decided I don't like this deck, I'm going to play the Ruinous Powers, which is an enchantment, which at the beginning of uh, my upkeep, I can choose an opponent at random, exile the top card of that player's library, and until the end of the turn, I may play that card and spend mana as though it were any mana of any color. And when I cast a spell that way, I lose life equal to that, or the player loses life equal to that mana value. You're cool. literally corrupting us and stealing what we can do and using it for yourself the same way the Chaos Gods would. Correct. Just checking. Correct. <laughs> I have no creatures either, so I'm not a threat. No, with that, the rest of us are your creatures. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Dance, puppets, dance. All right, that's it for me. Okay. <laughs> I'll, tap. I'll draw a card. I'm going to play a swamp and cast a three mana soul ring uh, called Sculpting, Skills. Sculpting Steel. Mm. Uh, so this is going to enter as a copy of uh, Soul Ring. You sure you okay. don't want a copy of a talent? Very sure. Very right, sure. Yes. Arcane Thank you. No, I'm oh, good. Okay. I'm good. Uh, multiple colors. I'm going to pass the turn. Okay. Well, we tried. Untap, upkeep, and draw. Uh, we'll play this Plains' as land for turn, and we'll tap one, two, three. Four, five. To cast, Celestine, the Living Saint. Sir. It's a human. Human, so we're going to scry one. Leave that on top. Uh, Celestine, the Living Saint, says, Flying and lifelink, healing tears at the beginning of your end step, return target creature card with mana value X or less from your graveyard to the battlefield, where X is the amount of life you gained this turn. Uh, we're going to move to attacks. Uh, we're going to send Inquisitor Greyfax at Jim and Space Marine Scout at Josh. Three apiece. <sighs> yeah, I got no blocks. I will take the damage. I'm just in free fall here. And you're like an oasis. Um, after that, we're going to pass the turn. Okay. 
Untap, no, not cute triggers. It was actually Tom uh, Petty. Oh, was it? Okay. Yeah, it was an Oasis. Oh, my bad. I don't know anything <laughs> about music. <laughs> I don't know anything about Tom Petty. Um, we are going to drop an Evolving Wilds and sacrifice it. All right, I just dropped this Evolving Wilds on the field and tapped it to sack it. We will sack it now because we found this mm -hmm. mountain. Hey guys, do I go big or go home? I'll give you the choice. Big. 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 Okay. <laughs> we are going to tap this for a green. We are going to tap forest for two colorless, thanks to Nexus's strategic coordinator. We're going to do that the same with the island. And we're going to do the same with the Temple of Mystery to drop a... Oh no. Uh-huh. Tyrant Guard. Oh no. Which was born of when the Tyranids first ate space marines and needed to make units that fought them. <laughs> Uh, we're going to drop this down on the field for X equals 3. This does not trigger the Ravenous ability, unfortunately. But it does have Shield Wall. I can sack it. Creatures I control with counters on them, which is going to be a lot of them. Gain Hexproof and Indestructible until end of turn. Okay. Wow. That's a 6-6. Six, six. Uh-huh. Who among us hasn't gotten peckish and then just had to make some Space Marine? Killing Cat. options, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and then like grow your own fantastic shoulder plates and armor based yeah. off of what you just ate. Like, wow. Honestly, been there. Yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. Anything else you want to do? Uh, ship the turn. Right on. There was a there was a tournament uh, moment where Tyrant Guard were the winning model in Warhammer Forty Thousand, um, not for actually defending anything. They literally sat in buildings because they had guns that could shoot out of the line of sight. So you just have a brick of them that would be in a building. Like I kill that, I kill that, I kill that. All right, I'm gonna untap all the stuff, um, and then I'm gonna trigger this boy, and let's see who uh, who have ruinous powers. Like one, two, three, four, five, six. It's me. Hey, Jim. Okay, let's see it. You've got an unstable obelisk. Ooh. Uh, so you can cast it for three if you want. It taps for one, or you can tap seven, sacrifice this to destroy any permanent in play. Oh my gosh, that's good. It's, it's, pretty, it's pretty nice, but I'm, I'm, I'm not going to, I don't think. I, I, think, I'm, okay. I think I'm okay that's with, that, with that. Yeah, now I'm going to also play an Evolving Wilds and now search my deck. So pause, <laughs> give me a moment. Sacrifice the Evolving Wilds, and then I will place this mountain into play tapped. Nice. And then, then, oh, yes, I will. So ominous. <laughs> yeah. so ominous. Look, 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 if you're not ominous as a chaos player, I will uh, continue to hurt myself because that's what chaos is about. So I'll take one uh, to get this, uh, to get some red. Uh, then I will get a blue and then I will get a uh, to put another enchantment in play. The Lost and the Damned. Whenever land enters the battlefield under my control from anywhere other than my hand, um, I cast a spell from anywhere, or sorry, um, from your hand or a spell is cast from anywhere other than my hand, I get a 3-3 three, three spawn. Sure. Very wise. Yeah, and that'll uh, that'll be uh, that'll be it for moi. Okay. Greatness at any cost. Yeah. I'll untap. <clears throat> Draw a card. I'm gonna play swamp. Ooh, was that really good? I think it was. To play lands. Yeah. In your deck where you need lands. Yeah, I needed that one. Yeah. Uh, specifically for this, I'm going to tap uh, five to cast Gilded Lotus. Uh huh. Ooh. Uh, that taps for three mana of any one color. And it's going to get so much worse before it gets better. Yes, I'm going to tap the Gilded Lotus in a Swamp to cast Hedron Archive, which taps for two colors. Oh, uh, oh, oh no. Jim. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> uh, and that's it for me. I'm going to pass. Please tell me you have a bane of progress. <laughs> oh, uh, don't think you do. We're going to find out. Anyway, I've got my untap. There's my upkeep. There's my drop. Uh, we will play this Swamp as our land for turn. All right, before we go to combat, we're going to tap this Swamp and Inquisitor Greyfax to tap down the Tyrant Guard. Mm -hmm. It's going to give us a clue and make him not upright. We'll then go Space Marine Scout at Josh and Celestine the Living Saint at Jim. Block. <laughs> block, okay. <laughs> I'll gain four life, take three unless you'd like to block. Uh, I will take... Three. Going to 34. I'll go to 44. Chronomancer down. Chronomancer down. <clears throat> All righty. In my second main phase, tap one, two, three, four, to generate a Belisarius Cow. Two white blue for a legendary artifact creature human. For tap, tap, two untapped artifacts you control. Create a two, two white Astartes warrior creature token with vigilance or Tap, tap X, untap creature card, or creatures you control. Look at the top X cards of your library. You may reveal an artifact card from among them and put it into your hand to put the rest of the bottom of your library in any order. 
on a 2-4 body. I will then pass the turn. Super thematic, that card. Because well, he, he, he finds Primaris Marines, and yeah. he just finds them across the galaxy because he set them all up and then forgot about them. That's fun. Yeah. But is this call inferior, superior? Th this Which is call just Belisarius' call. The call inferior is an AI that he made that's totally not an AI because those are illegal. It's mm. illegal. <laughs> <laughs> Untap, upkeep, no triggers, draw for turn. This is a path of ancestry, which shows up tapped. You can add one man of any color my commander's color identity, and scry one when I cast a creature that shares a type with it, which will be Tyranid. Surprise, there's going to be a lot of those. Speaking of being a lot of those, uh, you know how I asked you guys a little while ago if I want to go big? Big again. Go big, 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 yeah. big. No, big. there's no choice. I'm just going to go wide. Why oh, choose? No, no, no. I'm going to no. tap this for a green, uh, and we're going to tap one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight for to pay a generic X cost per the Nexus' its ability to drop down a Termagant Swarm, which will trigger the Ravenous ability. Uh, hit me. So I think you're on seven instead of yes. eight for X. Yeah. Okay. Seven. Seven's still just as good. Yeah, I'll take that. Uh, Ravenous, this creature enters the battlefield with X plus one plus one counters on it. If it's five or more, draw a card, because when that much of the Tyranid Force shows up, you have a stronger link to the Hive Mind. We are going to keep you on the top. And Death Frenzy, when it dies, create a number of 1-1 green Tyranid tokens equal to Termagrant Swarm's power. So I'm going to give a lot more of those. Oh. Uh-huh. No, come at oh, me. Come on. we're in danger. Uh-huh. <laughs> I have no creatures! <laughs> Don't hurt me! <laughs> Hello. You look tasty and I would like to know more. Yeah. Yeah. Hurt him. <laughs> no, 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 oh, no, him? no, 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 no. I got nothing. Look, I, I can't block with enchantments. <laughs> I mean, like, here's my thing. Okay, so you're first striking with that. I've got big things that I can block when you don't tap them down. Uh, you have no creatures and a terrifying amount of artifact based board presence. Yeah. Uh, how much do I need to hold up for you? None. That wasn't a question. Um, <laughs> now, you can't swing yet. We are going to hold off and just build a little bit more board state and be a little bit more ominous, like the shadow yeah. in the warp. Ship the turn to Thurston. Sure. Okay. Gonna do a little, little untap in here. Just, you know. Mm -hmm. Let's see how all that goes. Uh, I'm gonna do my game again. Let's see who I get. Oh, Jim again. again. Excellent. Uh -huh. what, do you, what do you got what on do you, top? What do you know? Yeah, what do you got? What do you got? Immotech the Storm. Oh! Oh, that's what you get! Hmm. <laughs> he is a four drop legendary artifact creature Necron that says he's a Pharon. Whenever one or more artifact cards leave your graveyard, create two 2 2 Black Necron Warrior artifact creature tokens and Grand Strategist. At the beginning of combat on your turn, another target artifact creature you control gets plus two, plus two, and gains menace until end of turn for a three. So, three. so the funny part here is like, this is really chaos appropriate because like this card doesn't do much for my deck, but it does a lot for Jim. I know. And <laughs> chaos is kind of about spite. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm gonna uh, pay some mana cost here. Yeah, I think we'll do <clears throat> that. That 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 looks good. Yep, we'll do that. Uh, and then I'm gonna, an gonna make myself a little emo tech on my board here. And uh -huh. then uh, you're gonna take three damage from yeah, me I'll doing that. Uh, four damage. Four damage. Uh, yeah. Four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or is it? Uh, it's like, is it the power? Or oh no, cost. Yeah, equal yeah. to his mana. Yeah, I'll go take to 30. four. Thirty. Thirty. Three. Good. 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 Um, and then you know, chaos corrupted emo tech. Uh, then I guess it goes to my draw. So. I mean, I'll put that bone down. They sold their souls to the uh, Catan to become the Necrons instead of the Necron tier. They can sell their souls again. It makes yeah, sense. I'm, uh, I'm good. I'm, that's yeah. I'm fine with that. Okay. Yeah. So I'll untap. Yep. I'm going to draw a card. Oh, this is so good. Okay. This is this is, music. This is far too much joy for. Oh, first you're gonna hate this. <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> please, please. Like, like secretly, I fell into your trap card. No. Yeah, here we go. Thank you for casting it for me. By the way. <laughs> Oh, of course. <laughs> of course. All right. Okay, with one mana floating, I'm going to cast Locust De Heavy Destroyer. Yep. It's a 3 2 flyer. When it enters the battlefield, each player sacrifices a creature. Oh. Oh, uh, no. I'm going to choose Locust Heavy Destroyer. Okay. I'm going uh, to choose Termagant. So I, I assume this goes to your graveyard. It goes to my oh, graveyard. Oh, 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 well. Space Marines got Termagant Swarm? Uh, Termagant Swarm. I will make seven Termagants. I. Huh. Oh, right. Hello. Yeah. Did I, Hi. I activated this trap card. Uh -huh. <laughs> it, was a trap. it was right there the whole time. It's okay, though, everybody. I'm back to no creatures. That means I'm, yeah, I'm not a threat. 
Okay, so I had one one colorless mana floating off of that. I'm going to tap for another two colorless. That brings me to three. Mm -hmm. And four black is seven total to cast Technomancer. Okay. When it enters the battlefield, I'm going to mill three cards, then return any number of artifact creatures with total mana value six or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. Stop! No. So I'll mill three. It's not good. He's not going to Desert stop. of the Glorified, a Swamp, and a Canoptic Wraith. I would then like to return any number of target creatures with mana value six or less total, which is Imotech and the Chronomancer oh. from earlier. I know it's supposed to be their number is Legion, their name is Death, but can their name be Value? I think that's what we're seeing here their right now. Their name is Value. Yeah. I tried to be spiteful. I really did. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else you got there, Jim? Uh, well, I guess I'll move to combat and give this plus two plus two till end of turn and Menace. Cool. And then mm -hmm. pass. In your end step, I'll crack my clue to draw a card. Sure. And I'll untap, upkeep, and draw. We'll drop a swamp as our land for turn. Tap. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Mm -hmm. To cast Deploy to the Front. That reads, create X-1-1 one, one white soldier creature tokens where X is the number of creatures on the battlefield. Oh, I activated oh. his trap card. Oh, no. Sure it did. Oh, dear. One, two, three, four, five, six. 13, 14, 15. I'm feeling like these are going to get deployed to my front very quickly. <laughs> <laughs> Close enough anyway. Could you pass me 15? Oh, Remember, I have enchantments, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> so that's 15 soldiers with plus one, plus O, oh, and vigilance. I think we'll send Celestine the Living Saint at Thurston. Oh. To deal four damage. I'll take it. Send you to 34. 34. Send me to 48. Oh, gosh. In my end step, Celestine the Living Saint will trigger at the beginning of my end step. Return target creature card with X mana value or less from my graveyard to the battlefield. Space Marine Scout enters, and we all laugh uproariously. Pass the turn. <sighs> the laughter of thirsting gods. Okay. <laughs> Untap. No upkeep triggers. We will draw for turn. Drop that one on the field right now. Temple of Epiphany hits the field. Uh, her it's ETB, I will scry one. I do not need you. We're just going to hold back for a bit of a turn. We're going to tap you for a generic and you for a green and a blue. And we're going to drop a Venomthrope onto the field, who is a 2 2 flying death touch hexproof Ooh. tyranid. I don't like that. Yeah. yeah. I do. And uh, that's why it's there. That's good. Because Celestine the Living Saint can run right into it, and I'll be happy about that. Uh, and I'll shoot the turn. Sadly, those 15 other dudes. <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right, so untap. Upkeep, let's let's play the game. Let's see what card I get from Jim this turn. Oh, I get oh, it from, it's from Josh. From Josh. All right, what do we got? You get a Tyranid Invasion. Ooh. Uh -oh. Create a number of 3-3 three, three green Tyranid Warrior uh, with trample equal to the number of opponents I have. Yeah, so I'll um I'll take that. Yeah, why not? Let's 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 do that. Let's yeah. Let's... Classic Thurston playing everybody else's decks for him. Yeah, yeah exactly. Uh -huh. Yeah. Here you go. Oh have sweet. I'll take some Tyranid Warriors. And then And then you also get, then a, I get a spawn. Red spawn. Yeah. Look at him, he's so chunky. I don't know a lot about paying four and getting twelve power, but that <laughs> seems okay. <laughs> seems, seems legit. So um my, yeah, and then I will go to Yep. Yeah. And Josh will take four to go to 30. Oh, yeah. Oh, dear. Right. Yeah, sweet. No, I'm, 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 that was an okay turn. I'll uh, pass it on. Yeah, it wasn't too bad. Yeah. I want to untap. I'll draw a card. Mm -hmm. How Warhammer is it that one of us drops a bunch of tokens and a bunch of bodies on the field, and then everyone else except for the Necrons drop a bunch of tokens and a bunch of bodies on the field, and I'm sure the Necrons will just show up with more in a turn or two. Is that what you're holding in your hand right now? Is that why you're I'm looking at me about, with anticipation? I'm about to do this right now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I mean go, go off what I'm about to. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm going to tap five to cast Royal Warden. As a 3-2 three, two, three, two Phalanx Commander, uh, when Royal Warden enters the battlefield, create two tapped 2-2 two, two, uh, Black Necron Warrior Artifact Creature Tokens, and then has Unearth for four. That's pretty good. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, so I'm going to make two Necron Warriors. Uh, I'm going to then pay one, activate Chronomancer, sacrificing one of these tokens that I just made to draw a card. Sweet. Then I'm going to play Vault of Whispers as my land for turn, which I totally didn't just draw. Mm -hmm. Well, then I think I'm just going to pass the turn. Right on. We're going to untap. 
upkeep, and draw. I'll drop this planes as land for turn, and I'll move to attacks. We'll send the Space Marine Scout at Thurston, and Celestine the Living Saint at Jim for three and four. My Chronomancer's tapped. He's a first striking 3-1. I guess I'm losing a Terranid Warrior. Do you want to double block? I'll do that, yeah. I'll so block. you'll double block and send yeah. him to the yard? Yeah. Yeah, it's coming right back because I'm taking three and Alex will gain three. Uh, you'll actually take four. Well, yeah, I suppose that is the play. We'll go ahead and return Space Marine Scout at our end of turn, but thanks to Celestine's ability. Yeah, oh yeah, that's right. That's the turn. So Alex is at 52 life compared to 20, 30 years for the rest of us. Yeah. There's a there's a joke somewhere in here about the inevitable victory of the Imperium and nope. all of the lore that I'm not going to make because I'm too lazy to find it. Nope. Uh, we are untapping, upkeeping, drawing for turn. Dead, I am going to play my commander. The Swarm Lord, a terrifying tactician and a two-story tall gigantic beast. Four, a green, a blue, a red, and one, Two, three. And you get to Generic. Strike. And I get to scribe because he shares his only creature type with me. He's got rapid regeneration. He shows up with two plus one plus one counters for each time I've cast my commander from the battle command zone this game. That does check right now, right? Yeah. Yep. Cool. So he is a seven, seven, thanks to that ability. Uh, nothing else triggers off of that, but he does also have Xenos Cunning. Whenever a creature I control with a counter on it dies, draw a card. There's, there's gonna be a few. Uh, we will scry one thanks to Path of Ancestry on the Swarm Lord coming in. We will scry that to the bottom because I do need more Tyranids. I always need more Tyranids. How is that even a question? I am still just going to build up in the distance, like I'm coming up on the horizon, a t tide of Tyranids. I've got a few more tricks up my sleeve that I will play in the near future, but for now, we're just passing the turn. All right, I'm tapping. And then we get to play my favorite game. Like, honestly, I don't even really care about the, the, the actual deck that I have now. I just like playing from your decks. Let's see who I am. <laughs> who I ruin it. So power. chaos. Oh, it's Josh again. What Hello. can I take from Josh? You get a Gene Stealer Patriarch. Ooh. It was a five drop Tyranid that reads Gene Stealer's Kiss. Whenever Gene Stealer Patriarch attacks, put an infection counter on target creature defending player controls. Children of the Cult. Whenever a creature with an infection counter on it dies, you create a token that's a copy of that creature, except it's a Tyranid. You're just going to keep playing our, our decks. Mm. Just, like a fine. Little, just like a little smooch. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like the tongue comes out, pierces at the base of your throat, and deposits Gene Stealer eggs so that you can give birth to more Tyranids okay. and over okay. generations, a plan generations it's an, of the making. It's an option, though. I get to draw my card. I have until the end of the turn to decide should I wish Fair. to. Uh, I wish to give somebody a little smooch. <laughs> <laughs> just, just a little. Just a little. Um, put this foreboding runes into play tapped. And I do like making Josh suffer, so... <laughs> and, uh, okay, then I'm I taking will... five, going to 25. Yeah, and then that will get me a, another one of these points. Mm -hmm. And do you five, so... Mm -hmm. so that's it for moi. Okay. You're playing the Necrons, you don't need life, you have uh, living death. Hey, you know, the only one that matters is the last one, right? Yeah, yeah. true. Uh, I, oh wait, hang on a sec. So, Unless you sign it over to the Catan. Sorry, uh, these were tapped. Um, I'm actually going to tap two in your end step, Thirsty, mm -hmm. yep. to crack Hedron Archive to draw two cards. Cool. Seems good. And then I'll untap. And I'll draw for my turn. I'm going to tap two black and two colorless to cast Biotransference. This says creatures you control are artifacts in addition to their other types. The same is true for creature spells you don't control and creature cards you own that aren't on the battlefield. Cool. Whenever you cast mm -hmm. an artifact spell, you lose one life and create a 2-2 Black Necron Warrior Artifact Creature Token. That seems sick. It yep. seems pretty good. Uh, I'm going to uh, tap one colorless, mm -hmm. tap the Chronomancer, to sacrifice the Royal Warden. Uh, that is going to allow me to draw a card. And I will play this Myriad Landscape. Tapped. Then I'm going to pay four and uh, unearth the Royal Warden. Uh, with that on the stack. Yeah. We'll pay six to cast Calidus Assassin with Flash. It also has Polymorphine. I may have it enter the battlefield tapped as a copy of any creature on the battlefield, except it has, when this creature enters the battlefield, destroy up to one other target creature with the same name as this creature. Yeah. And I will target Imoleth... Imotech? Imotech? Yeah, Imotech the Stormlord. Imotech the Stormlord. 
So that way you can't get any of your leaves the sure. artifact battle ability nonsense. Sure. Destroyed? Destroyed. Destroyed. Um, okay, so Royal Warden uh, enters the battlefield. Yeah? Yes. I will uh, make two Necron Warriors tapped. I'm going to cast... Uh, then I'm just going to pass the turn. Uh, Unearth will cause me to uh, sacrifice. Uh, sorry, exile this at the end of my turn. Sounds good. We're going to untap. We're going to upkeep. We're going to draw. Play an island as our land for turn. When we go to combat, my Imotech will make my Belisarius call 2-2 two, two and menace. Pl or, sorry, plus 2, plus 2 and menace, I should say. Yeah. Anyway, uh, Belisarius call is going to attack with menace and 5 at gym. A 5-6 menace thing. Uh, Celestine the Living Saint is going to attack Thurston. Okay. And my Space Marine Scout is also going to attack Jim. Cool. So you got uh, eight <clears throat> total coming at you, Jim, and four in the air at Thurston. I'll take four. And so, Jim, do you have any blocks for eight damage? Yeah, I'll double block the Belisarius call. You're going to double block the Belisarius call? Yeah. So I assume you're killing both? Uh, before that, uh, I am going to kill both, but I am going to tap him to activate his first ability to make an Astartes Warrior by tapping my other two artifacts. Okay. There's one Astartes Warrior. And then damage happens, so you'll take three. Yeah, I'll take three. We'll send call to the yard. And a turn, we will return Belisari's call to the battlefield via Celestine's ability. Oh, that's gross. Yeah. Mm hmm. Oh, I'm sorry. Was I not supposed to try and win? No. Mm. Oh, okay. Anyway, uh, we will pass the turn. Thank you. You're welcome. Untap. No upkeep triggers. We're going to draw for turn. I'm just going to tap all my lands. You're tapping all your lands? All of my lands. This makes me nervous. Why? What do you mean, why? Why? It's Last fine. time he did that, he made a huge thing. So? Mana burns not in the game what, anymore. See, I know that. And then that thing died, and it, and it had a whole bunch of little things in it. Yeah, but it made me a bunch of little things. It was great. Uh, I just want to enjoy playing with terrain that I don't have to paint. Mm. That's fair. What you got? True, though. Uh, I have Old One-Eye. <gasps> oh boy. Oh no. <laughs> Old One Eye is a six drop five or six drop six six tyranny with trample. Other creatures you control have trample. Hello. When Old One Eye enters the battlefield, create a five five green tyranid creature token. Also, hello. Are you a Carnifex? Are you going to be a Carnifex? Oh, you are. Oh, that is just lovely. Look at that. We get another large friend who just wants to reach out and hug you and have dinner with you. You are dinner. That's 11 power with trample. For six yeah, okay, so six, it's six mana, six, six. That makes a five, five. It also has trample and gives all your other things trample and recurs itself from your graveyard. Lord, he's yes. coming. I didn't even get to that in the thing. Fast <laughs> healing. Help. They won't. <laughs> At the beginning of my pre-combat man phase, I can discard two cards, which I'm probably going to draw some of with Ravenous, I hope. Uh, to return Old One-Eye from my graveyard to my hand. Note in the lore, Old One-Eye is legendary for being a Tyranid Carnifex that was left behind after a battle on Kalf and eventually came back and terrorized the citizens of Kalf. Along with the Swarm Lord, Old One-Eye is on one of only like four or five Tyranid characters, copies of creatures that the Hive Mind keeps on file and spawns new ones whichever, whenever it wants. I mean, I can see why. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> So Are you getting ready to move to combat? No, I have a Path of Ancestry trigger. Good. Because yeah. I haven't gotten enough value out of that six mana right now. Yeah, really. Uh, we are going to scry one. We are going to scry you to the bottom. And now that I have creatures with trample and I get value when they die, Ooh. I'm going to consider swinging. Going to combat? Yes. Uh, do you have effects? I do have effects on beginning of combat. Excellent. I will tap I have a Inquis response to these effects. Great. Uh, I'm going to tap Inquisitor Greyfax, paying one to tap down the Swarm Lord. Okay. Generating a clue. Do you, would you like to respond to that ability? Yes. Okay. Well, That's a really good play. That's my response. Keep going. <laughs> okay. uh, I have no further effects before you declare attackers. Wonderful. All right. I'm going to swing with my Tyrant card and only at my Tyrant card at a wide open gym. Yeah. How much? Six incoming. Yeah. I'll go to 17. Mm hmm. That's silly. You should go to a higher number. Yeah. You know, Alex, like, you should be in the 50s like Alex is there. I'm feeling a little targeted right now. <laughs> All I have to do is not visit another tomb world so he can awaken another 60,000 warriors and I'll be fine. I only want to eat this world that he's on. Sure. That is my turn. I will now ship the turn to this. Mm -hmm. And tap. Yeah. Then I'm drawing my upkeep. Uh, I'm gonna play my favorite game. What card do I get? Yeah. 
Hey, Jim again. Me. Yeah, you are targeted. What do we got? Okay, what do we got? You got an Illuminator Zeras. Ooh. Oh, no. Oh, I like oh, this. This looks good. It's a 3-3 legendary artifact creature. Uh, it's got Secrets of the Soul. Tap it and sacrifice another creature to add an amount of black equal to the sacrificed creature's mana value. Ooh, that that is spicy. That is spicy. Okay, let's go to my draw snap here. See what I get. Cost three. Okay, mm -hmm. I'll uh, mm. put down my swamps because I got swamps now. He's a slightly mad Necron wizard who is, I think, trying to become another Katan. Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I forget his exact lore. He's one of those ones I don't like. Necron lore, kind of, kind of weird Fair. to me. Um, There's so much lore in this game. The, yep, right. Um, hmm. <laughs> so let's let's take Zerus and hurt you for three as well, because sure, you know, and give myself a spawn, because yeah, I'll go hash to, hashtag reasons. I'll go to fourteen. I have a feeling I'm not long for this world. It's okay. Just lie down and wait. Yeah. Oh, look. Unless I top wow. deck, if I top deck Living Death, though, all bets are off. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, <laughs> that's the most Living Death right now is maybe like backbreaking. Yeah. That's the most Necron thing I've heard today. <laughs> Blue, red, uh, yeah. And I think it's. And I'm going to play Abaddon the Despoiler. He's going to come. Oh, Lord, he coming. Oh Lord, he's there. Uh, then I'm now that abandoned the spoiler is on the, uh, the table. Uh, I will go to attacks, um, and I will take my gene stealer uh, patriarch, and then a completely a okay move is I will attack Josh. Ooh, trigger. Uh, put an infection counter on one of Josh's creatures, but I feel like uh, old One Eye is probably a pretty prime target. Yeah, for yeah, yeah. I think I think we're gonna meet at sweet sweet infecty. I've got. There oh, we go. Much more of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Something strange about Tyranids infecting themselves, but we're talking different. Chaos, we're talking chaos, chaos, chaos infection, yeah. right? You know what? What are we doing if we're not going for it? I will block with the five five Tyranid Carnifex creature token right here. Okay. Well, I guess I'm going to die a terrible death because I don't have anything to stop that. So mm -hmm. correct. Okay. And then does that infection counter stay? Like it that? stays there. But so if you can bring the Gene Stealer oh, Patriarch right. back out by stealing it from my graveyard, graveyard. with more gotcha. chaos, chaos shenanigans, cool. Cool. it will then mean something again. Well, the rough part is if Josh is able to get it back, then he gets the copy of Old One Eye if the creature dies. Yep. Oh. <laughs> Even more Tyranids. Welcome to Warhammer 40k. <laughs> I'm learning. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, that was that was a choice I made. Okay, cool. Past. Okay, I'm going to untap and try and find a way to not die here. I'll draw a card. I'll play one. We've got to start doing some things. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to pay two and another two to cast Canoptic Tomb Sentinel. When it enters the battlefield from a uh, graveyard, exile up to one target non-land permanent. Mm. Uh, I am then going to sacrifice it to the Chronomancer. Draw a card. To draw a card. Then I'm going to pay four to cast Dread Return, targeting Canoptic Tomb Sentinel. Their number is Legion. Their name is Value. <laughs> so that's going to come back. It entered from Graveyard. So uh, I am going to target Celestine. That old one eye, huh? Nope. Okay. Josh and I are on okay terms. Mm -hmm. I think so. That, that seems, seems pretty good. reasonable. There's nothing I can eat over here. Come on now. I, There's no biomass. I said it seems reasonable. Uh, so Celestine dies or exiled? Uh, exiled. Exiled Celestine. And because I cast uh, Canoptic Tomb Sentinel the first time, it uh, triggers biotransference. I'm going to lose one life and create an Necron. Go to 13. Go on to 13. Then I'm going to cast Flayed One. Ooh. Uh, this is a 4 1 lifelink, and when it enters the battlefield, no three cards. That will trigger Biotransference again. I'll go to 12 and make another Necron. Uh, it'll enter, and I will no three. Their name is Death, Necron Deathmark, and a Crypt deck. I think I'm just going to pass the turn. Okie dokie. We're going to untap, upkeep, draw, cry a little. <laughs> good, 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 and like tears. All right, we're going to go to combat on my turn. Calidus Assassin, which is actually Imotech, is going to give Belisarius Call uh, plus two, plus two, and Menace. Um, I'm not going to be using him, though. I'm just simply going to attack Jim with 15 two ones. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh, it's wild that you feel that way. Isn't it? Um. Yeah. I don't think I have enough blockers to prevent my. Well, you would gain four life if you blocked with the flayed one. So it does help. Okay. So fifteen. Let's say I can block six of them. Six of them. So that brings me down to nine times two is eighteen. Plus four is sixteen. Still dead. Still dead. Very dead. Block six though. Uh, yeah. Yeah, from Hell's Heart. I stab at myself. Yeah. Seems good. Goodbye, Jim. Goodbye. Only in death does well, do we end. Wait, wrong faction. It was fun. <laughs> this will be exiled. Yeah, this is gone. Oh. Goodbye. Then we will pass the turn. Okay. Untap. Oh, Upkeep. Hiss, chitter, and clack my jaws a little at the Imperium's cavalcade of value. Do those soldiers have vigilance? Sure do. What? Quizzer Gray Facts. Other Who creatures you this control. Card? Other creatures you control get plus one, plus one, zero, and have vigilance. Wow. It's, it's just, it's just, uh. Wow. You know. No upkeep triggers drop a turn. Real good. Wow. Dropping a green, a blue, and a fuchsia, no, a red off of Arcane Signet for New Horizons on the Temple of Epiphany, just to make Alex's editing a little bit harder at the corner of the screen there. Mm -hmm. When New Horizons enters the battlefield, put a plus one plus one counter on target creature I control, which will be the Phenom Throw, because a lot of the Tyranid stuff triggers on counters being on the creatures, and the Infection counter is a counter. Thanks, Thurston. I'm in the very, very, very un-Tyranid, ungrate devourer position of needing to be a little bit reactive here, judging by the board state. So I will ship the turn. Okay, a little get to untapping. On the bright side, now when you roll, it's just one, two, three, four, five, I six. I know, one, two, three, four, five, six. Hello. Never you. No, of course what not. Got, got what do we got? Protecting. A mountain. Yeah, so I'll take your mountain. Oh, yeah. We got the borders on yeah. it. So sure. that'll give me another, another spawn. Spawn, that's pretty cool. Then I guess I go to my draw. Oh, sorry, I tap this guy too. Then I go to my draw phase. So many fun options that I could have could have had. Um, I had options once. <laughs> I... <laughs> and then you sold your soul to the Catan. Um, Please tell me to pronounce Catan and Satan, because if not, I have been saying it wrong this entire time. Is Settlers of Catan a spinoff of Warhammer 40k? It is actually, because yeah. what happens is they go to the sun. That's right. where they have all the sheep and the wheat, and that's right. what powers yeah. the Void Dragon. Right. That makes sense. Right. Yeah, yeah. Interesting. Okay. Tap four. I need one more, so we'll just tap. You kind of hooked me with that whole, my dude disappears when you die. Trust me, I had a whole great play. But instead, I'll settle for Nurgle's Conscription. Uh, put target creature card from an opponent's graveyard onto the battlefield, tapped under my control, uh, and then exile that player's graveyard. Yoink! Uh-huh. It's tap back. Tapped under your control? Yeah, tap. Thank you. It's Jordan. back. Yes. Oh Lord, it's back. Um, back again. And because now, again, I didn't play that card from my hand. Uh, does it say, what does it say? Uh, whenever a creature enters the battlefield from yep. your control other than your hand, so. You got it. Dang. That's a lot of spawn. That's mm -hmm. a lot of spawn. I'm, I'm a cooking up a something. Um, I will tap three. And put out a commander sphere. And that'll be it for Mawa. At the end of your turn, I'll tap Belisarius Call, mm -hmm. this clue token, and my Calidus Assassin to make another Astartes Warrior. Okay. I'll pay one to tap Inquisitor Greyfax to make a second clue token by tapping the Swarm Lord. Taken out of combat early on in the story again. I'll also pay two to sack a clue, draw a card. I will Miracle in Zephyrum. Oh, paying <laughs> squad cost, uh -huh, uh -huh. squad cost to get two more squads of Zephyr. Oh, it's yep. so good. That's kind of nutty. Miracle Squad is wild. Little bit. Yep. Little little bit. Very Sisters wild. of Battle, though. Very, very, very wild, right? Wow. Yeah, that's good stuff. That's some Deus Ex Machina stuff right yeah, there. De Deus, Ex, <laughs> Deus Ex Deck, that's for sure. The Adeptus Aurora tasks show up in your darkest hour. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, so, on my turn, we'll play Port Down Tapped because I don't have a land to reveal. Mm -hmm. We'll move to combat on my turn. Uh, Imotec will give Belisarius call plus two, plus two in Menace. And we will attack Josh with everything except for our Calidus Assassin. I'm glad you kept the Calidus Assassin back because you're going to want some trips up your sleeve. 
Nothing can stand against Show the might me. of the hive mind, especially when Show it taps me. to three, four. Yeah. Uh, this and these two being blue for an Aether Eyes, returning all attacking creatures to their owner's oh, hand. Oh, Alex. <laughs> That's really deeply, horribly <laughs> fantastic for me. Thank you very much. I really genuinely appreciate it. Excellent. I'm glad. I'm coming to the other hand now. No, I yeah. know. It's, it's, it's actually great. Uh, so that's all attacking creatures, yeah? Mm hmm. Oh, just. Mm, it's chef's kiss. Next. Next. Alex showed me. Uh oh. I did show him. <laughs> I did, in fact, show him for seven. Oh, no. Oh, yes. Exterminatus. Non-land permanents, my opponent's control, lose indestructible till end of turn. Destroy all non-land permanents. So in reaction to that, I will sacrifice Commander Sphere. Yep. And I will draw cards. And then I don't think there's anything else I got there. Um, yeah. I will draw four cards off of the Swarm Lord's Xeno's Cunning ability. Um, because counter, 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 counter. These aren't counters, these are tokens. I'm going to put, set these aside so later. The enchantments as well. uh, yeah. sure. Everything okay. here will die a horrible, awful death. That's good to me. The Swarm Lord will go back in the command zone with that. There you go. Oh, okay. I have yeah. a cool. 11 power oh, of and I will nasty grip. Both of these boys. Okay. So just to be clear about what happened there, mm -hmm. when all permanents got destroyed, all non-land permanents got destroyed, the um, uh, Gene Stealer um, saw the old one eye die because it had an infection counter on it. Yeah. Uh, it triggered the second ability on the Gene Sealer and brought back old one of I. It entered the battlefield mm -hmm. and made a friend. Nice. Mm -hmm. I'll play the Space Marine Scout and pass the turn. I remember that card. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's a pretty good guy. He always seems to show up first. Untap, oh. upkeep, no triggers, draw for turn. Cave of Temptation will be the land play for turn. Tap four, including one green. Four, a Toxicrine. Oh, fun. It's a three dot, two four Tyranid with reach and death touch because it's incredibly long, incredibly poisonous tentacles that drops a hypertoxic miasma. All lands have tap, add one mana of any color and lose all other abilities. It emits a stinking cloud composed of millions of nascent microscopic organisms, each possessing a fragment of predatory sentience. You'll also scry one because Path of Authority, uh, Ancestry, won't lose its ability until after Toxicrine enters. I'll do that now. You are... Something I wish I had five turns ago. That's a nifty blood That's moon. a cool creature. Yeah, I was oh, just yeah, going to say. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm like reading it and I'm like, oh, this is really good. That's a nifty little blood moon effect. It's also like a little less salty than oh, blood moon. Way less salty. <laughs> mm. like this, this card is sweet, I think. It sounds less yeah. salty. For all of us? Or? Yeah. yeah. All lands lose all other abilities and they all just add one mana of any color. That's it. Okay. Uh, yeah, I adore it because... Huh? Uh, again, it's another aspect of like the Tyranids terraforming, being reflected yeah, in the cards. Sure. Once the battles are done, Toxicreens plant those tendrils into the land and start transforming it into just pure sludgy, pulpy biomass for the feeder tendrils to suck up into the hive ships. As one does. <laughs> As one does. <laughs> for a nice breakfast on a Sunday morning, all of this toxic poisonous forest. We're going to tap Temple, Temple, and Cave of Temptation for three generic for a Herald's Horn. Choose a creature type. I choose Brushwag. No, Tyranid. Uh, creature spells I cast of the chosen type cost one generic list, and at the beginning of my upkeep, I can look at the top card of my library. If it's a Brushwag, and by that I mean Tyranid, uh, I can reveal it and put it into my hand. And after that, I will ship the turn. Well, I don't get to play my fun game anymore. <laughs> I'm very sad by that, Alex. You're welcome. Um, so I'm gonna, you know, just, just come here and have all my lands. Including, including Josh's. Thanks, mm -hmm. Matt. Thanks, Matt. I'm here to uh, help. Draw. I guess I'll put down this uh, exotic orchard, which is the same as every other land now, but that's cool. Mm -hmm. um, then I suppose... It's funny because it was already the same as every other land. Yeah, it's true. I know. <laughs> don't, don't, don't. You look, 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 look. <laughs> um... Nurgle's garden bears many fruits. Do you know I've heard that? Um, <laughs> then... Don't eat them, just don't. <laughs> Ten. One, two, three, four, five. Um, six, seven. I, six, seven if I want to do Abaddon. That's right. Yeah, which I really do right now. So we'll bring 
Mr. Abaddon back onto the table. Then I will go into my combat phase. Mm -hmm. Are you attacking for 11? That seems reasonable. Mm -hmm. I'll go to 45. Anything else there, Thurston? Uh, no, that will be quite enough right now. I'll play my ninth land. Tap one, two, three, four, five. To cast Redemptor Dreadnought. As an additional cost to cast a spell, I may exile a creature card from my graveyard. I'll exile Calidus Assassin. Uh, it has Trample, it's a 4-4, and Plasma Incinerator. Whenever Redemptor Dreadnought attacks, if a card is exiled with it, it gets plus X plus X until end of turn, where X is the power of the exiled card. Nice. Okay. Reflecting the fact that the dead of the uh, Space Marines are often interred in Dreadnoughts in coffins to keep going and fight and battle again. Pass turn. Okay. Untap. No upkeep triggers. We're going to do this this way now. One upkeep trigger. One upkeep trigger, right. Uh, look at the top card of my library. If it's a creature card of the chosen type, I can reveal it and put it in my hand. That's not a brush way, but I'm going to put it on the battlefield anyway. Or put it in my hand anyway. Do you have to reveal it? or Just Oh, reveal it. Oh. This is an Exocrine, which is a Tyranid with a giant howitzer on its back that uh, spews acid and evil uh, you know, yeah. bugs that'll just burrow through your skin. It is a X2 generic, one red Tyranid with 2-2 two, two and Ravenous. Uh, if I X5 or more, I draw a card. Bioplasmic Barrage. When Exocrine enters the battlefield, it deals X damage to each player and each other creature. Play a land for turn, which is Opal Palace. Exocrine for X equals seven. So we are going to drop that on the field. Uh, we have a nine nine. Thank you, Tyranid. I'm going to draw a card for the Ravenous trigger. Each creature and player will take seven damage. I'll go to 38. Each other creature, sorry. Yep. Yeah. And every creature on the board will die. Except, Except for, for Exocrine. Exocrine. Yeah. No? Thank you. That's pretty good. It's going to go back yeah. in and get another token. So. Uh, you know what I'm going to do here as well, just to keep things simple? Sure. Uh, I am going to go to combat. We are going to discard Star Storm and Pure Strain Gene Stealer to return Old One Eye to my hand. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that will be me. I will ship the turn. I think we counted just slightly wrong. It looks like you should only have six on Exocrine, but that's still enough to do everything we talked about. So okay. everybody regain yep. one life. Hooray! Thank you for your vigilance. How appropriately imperial. All right, I will draw. I want to untap. 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 That's <laughs> see. There's order in this game, and now these lands actually matter. What they all do. Oh my gosh. Uh, then we'll draw. Look, it is a. Uh, we'll play that. Um, Terramorphic Expanse, which I will tap. All right, we have found ourselves an island, which I will put down. Andrew's and tap. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Three. Yeah, we're gonna do that. I'm gonna play Pink Horror, which is a four-four with coarse hunting flames. Whenever I cast an instant or sorcery, Pink Horror deals two damage to any target, and if uh, it dies, it splits into two uh, two two blue and red horror demons that uh, are tokens that deal one damage whenever I cast a spell. Uh, instant. Blah blah blah. That it's sounds great. Cool. It, yeah. It's really good. And then I will ca I will tap these three. And then we'll cast a Tallyman of Nurgle, which is a 2-3 with lifelink uh, with a sevenfold chant at the beginning of your end step. If a creature died this turn, you draw a card and lose one life. If seven or more, uh, I instead draw seven cards and lose seven life. That That's seems cool. cool. Yeah. Wild. Anything yeah. else? Uh, no, that'll be it for me. At the end of your turn, I'll pay four to cast Utter End, targeting Exocrine. Oh, he was so young. Mm -hmm. So young. He was only a few minutes old. So we'll exile him. And Exiled. Then continuing to right. my turn. Okay. Oh wait, these are all actually what they are now. Mm -hmm. Can't just jumble them up like I prefer. Yeah, who killed all those creatures? Oh wait. We'll draw that card. <sighs> Pretty sure you did. No, actually it was Josh this time. Exterminatus? It was Josh this time. Speaking of Josh this time, we'll go one, two, mm -hmm. three, four. Kicker once, kicker twice, kicker three times. Wait, it's not kicker, it's squad! Zephyrim squad three. Oh, I'm having flashbacks here. Pass turn. All right. Untap. I love how the last set of sure. Zephyrum just like showed up and immediately got exterminated. Yeah, yeah that's great. <laughs> that's very Imperium. <laughs> <laughs> the top card of my library is Cinderglade, which does not. Uh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to play it right now because I can. And we are going to spend seven mana, thanks to the Herald's Horde discount, 
to drop the Swarm Lord on the field. Hopefully not to eat more Imperial Removal. You're going to attack uh, the, uh, use the Opal Palace ability? Yeah. Yeah, that's what we're doing. Thank you for the reminder. We're also going to pay an extra one to pay the Opal Palace ability. Swarm Lord is entering the field with uh, six plus one plus one counters. That seems uh, reasonable. Two times three, because it has been cast from the field twice this turn. Uh, and after that, I will shift the turn. Oh, I only have 19 life. You can do this. <laughs> I can't, actually. I can only uh, okay. next turn. Yeah. I will play. I've waited a very long time, everybody. I'll tap this swamp. <laughs> mountain. Also, my number grudges. Another swamp. Bring it, sir. Um, that's Hurt me good. Four. Hurt I'll me tap good. this foreboding rune. To, actually, I don't need it. I'll tap this another swamp, whatever. Uh, then I'll blight grenade the swarm lord. So destroy target creature and all creatures get minus three, minus three until end of turn. Oh, wow. Oh. How does it feel like to get ex exterminated? Uh, great, actually. Familiar. Fantastic. Uh, also, whenever I cast a instant or sorcery spell, Pink Horror deals two damage to any target. That will be <gasps> Alex. 37. 37. Mm -hmm. Would you like to go to attacks and beat some face? Mm, see if there's anything else I got. You know, you're, you're yeah. skipping, skipping a bit ahead. Um, okay. Yeah, go to attack step. Um, and I will throw... Four at me, two at Josh. Six at you. Six at me? Sure. Yeah. 31. 31. And uh, Thirsty, you will gain two life. Uh, from lifelink. Oh, yeah, yeah I will. 26. That's, yeah, 26. <laughs> then I will lose one, though, at the end of my turn because of the sevenfold chant at the beginning of my end step, assuming there's nothing else going on. Uh, if a creature died, uh, I draw a card and lose one life. So I will draw a card. Um, and it's end step, so I can't play anything that I get unless it's an right. instant or whatever. Okay, cool. Um, and that will be it for more. All right, we'll draw a card. Mm -hmm. Play a swamp. Four. For Inquisitor Greyfax, using Path of Ancestry to scry. Mm -hmm. Leave on top. One, two, three, four. It's not messy at all. What are you talking about, Jim? Belisarius Call. I remember that card. Me too. Mm -hmm. Pass turn. Okay. Untap. Do have an upkeep trigger, which I've finally remembered to start doing the style that I usually do my upkeep triggers. This isn't messy at all. No. Uh, is this a brushwag? Yes, in that it is a horror specs, a giant tyranid monster that eats foes by throwing its guts out of its mouth and surrounding them with them, then pulling them back in. It is a three drop 2-2 two -two with rapacious hunger. Whenever another creature dies, put a plus one plus one counter on it and devouring monster. Tap to remove X plus one plus one counters from it. Add X mana of any one color. It's pretty good. It is going in my hand. It's pretty great. But it is not as good as taking advantage of the Herald's Horn discount to cast my Swarm Lord for nine mm. and getting nine plus one plus one counters on it. Again, the Hive Mind just spawns it wherever it's most needed. You don't get the Opal Opa Palace ability. Right, okay. So it only gets two per time you've cast so it. So it's six instead yeah. of nine. Thank you, I appreciate it. Again, helping each other get the rules right. But I do have my Scry Trigger off the Path of Ancestry, which I will resolve now. Uh, you're staying on top, my goodness. Uh, now I will go to my end of turn. Cool. I will tap the remaining mana that I have and cast this spell, which I've been waiting on for. I've been waiting, y'all. <clears throat> this is Chaos Mutation. Exile any number of target creatures controlled by different players. For each creature exiled in this way, its controller reveals cards from the top of their library until they reveal a creature card and put that on the battlefield. Then put the rest uh, at the bottom of their library in a random order. Mm -hmm. So you can do one of me and one of Josh. And one of you if you want. Yeah, so I think what I'll do is I will hit myself and mutate this boy. So you're targeting your own guy, the Swarm Lord, Swarm Lord. and either Belisari's Call or Greyfax. Yeah, we'll smack Grayfax. Grayfax. Grayfax um, will go to commands. Yep. And we have to resolve the rest of the mutation trigger. I reveal cards on top of library until... Uh, do you want to resolve this first or me? Actually, or? Thurston resolves it first. Yeah. Right. Okay. So, exile. So, yep. this goes in like this. Bop. Then I just start drawing until I get it. You don't draw, actually. You flip. Oh, I just flip them. Okay. Oh, I get a Chaos Defiler. So I can pop it to you to get Belisarius Call dead, right? Or And Herald's Horn as well. I mean, technically, this is out of order. Six, so, yes. bump. Okay. Uh, Entrapment Maneuver. Commissar Severina Rhine. 
Leading from the front, whenever it attacks, each opponent loses X life, where X is the number of other attacking creatures. To sacrifice another creature, I gain two life and draw a card. All right, we're now going to find what I have. The next thing down that shares a creature type, which will be a Tyranid. A Ravener. Flash, showing up with X plus one plus one counters Ooh. on it. Right now, X is zero. That's sad. <laughs> yep. oh. When it enters the battlefield, target creature attacks target opponent this turn, if able. Nobody's um, able. Yeah. yeah. Because Co Commissar showed up. Uh, it's also, also not we're, my turn. we're in yeah. your end step. So uh, now that Chaos Mutation is finished resolving and that creature goes to the graveyard, we actually missed a trigger, so we're going to resolve that now. Mm -hmm. uh, pick a target to deal two damage. Uh, you know, I've been awfully mean to Alex, so let's keep being mean to Alex. Uh, yeah, sounds great. Yeah. Give me nine. Come in there. So it it's your turn, Thirsty. All right. Well, that was a good out of turn little <laughs> chicanery. Ooh, um, that seems fun. Um, tap, 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 tap. And I will put down a Blood Crusher of Corn. It's a 3 3 uh, trample with devastating charge, so other creatures I have also gain trample. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, I'll also tap two here and put down a Talisman of Creativity. Just give me some more mana, and then I will um, toss this uh, this five four over to you, Josh, and tax step you for five. Sir, sir, fourteen. Right? It's a good play, but sir, yeah, yes. 14. Okay, cool. <laughs> and that'll be it for me. All right, I'll untap, upkeep, and draw. We'll cast for four and kick three times. Vanguard suppressor, squad three. It's not kicker actually. It's horsemanship. Your horsemanship. <laughs> There's Vanguard Suppressor. I feel like I'm just a shadow to this conversation. <gasps> uh, so at this point, we're going to attack Josh for four. Trigger, Commissar, Severina Rain. Uh, whenever it attacks, other creatures equals one life loss for everybody. So you'll each lose one life. Okay. And I'll pass the turn. Okay. Untap. No upkeep triggers now that my Herald's Horn is gone. We're going to draw four turn. We're going to tap X for eight. Sorry, X for four, because this is a Sporocyst, a Ravenous Brushwag. Uh, Ravenous will trigger drawing me a card. Well, or no, 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 it will not, because I'm only paying for four, so it won't mm. draw me a card. But uh, I will have a 4-4 four, four with Defender on the field, not that it will save me next turn. I will get four up to four basic land cards onto the battlefield tapped, and then shuffle. That card's cool. Tyranid Terraforming, what can I tell you? Uh, that's going to be me, and I'll ship the turn. Do those come in untapped? No, they come in tapped. Oh, tapped. okay, yeah. 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 <laughs> sort my port stand out in a second. I will untap. Okay, is it okay if we resolve my missed uh, scry trigger off of Path of Ancestry? You know what? I'll allow it. Thank you. It's a patient, Jim. You are speaking as somebody who is very involved in this game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I yeah, appreciate you. You are absolutely standing at the top. Hey, All right. Thank you. Thank you both. Thank all, thank all of you. Okay. Uh, continuing on with mine, I will to put down a soaring. Uh, then I will nine for this boy, and we will bring Mr. Baden back. Boop. Then I will attack Alex. Oh, attack step. Sure. Then I will hit you with these three. All three of them? Yep. What's total damage? Uh, Looks like 12. Like 12. 12. Yeah. yeah. I'll take 12. Okay. Go to 17. Cool. Anything else on your turn? Nope, that'll be it. Alrighty, we will untap, upkeep, draw, tap six for Inquisitor Grayfax. Only the second time from the zone this game. Must be nice. It is. Mm -hmm. Let's also tap five <clears throat> for Thunder Wolf Cavalry. It's a first striking 4-4 four, four, with whenever it deals combat damage to a player, I put a 1-1 one, one counter on each other creature I control. Ooh. Oh. I would like to move to attacks. Uh, Commissar Severina Rain is going to attack Josh, and then we'll do one Vanguard Suppressor in the air at Josh as well, and the rest at Thurston. So that's uh, 12 in the air, Thurston, okay. and three on the ground. Uh, so before we do anything else, ground. you'll each lose five. So you got uh, uh, 12 in the air that you can't Which I can't walk. stop, seven, yeah. So and just... then three on the ground from... Belisarius Call, which you can block with Abaddon. With Abaddon, yeah. So you'll so... do that. Belisarius Call. Uh, so you'll take lethal in the air. The question is, do you want to block Severina? I do. Certainly. She'll die, and then you'll lose the game. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, when you lose the game, do you control any of his stuff anymore? You control his mountain, and that'll go. Yeah, so back to you. All righty. And you draw four cards. I do. Oh, I do. Wow. Wow. Many. I forgot about that. One, two, three, I'm looking four. Very respectfully at these vendors. Mm -hmm. That's I, when you said it has flying. I didn't realize it when you cast it. That card is really good. That is really good. I will play a scoured barons as my land for turn, gaining a life going to eighteen. Cool. I'll pass the turn. Okay. We'll see what I can do here. I will attack. I will declare some attacky attacks. Um, is it everybody? Yeah, I think it's gonna be everybody. I think it's gotta be, right? Yeah. He's at seven. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. I'm 18 to your seven? Yeah, you gotta bring it. Okay, let's do it. I'm attacking. Bam, bam, bam. Blood for the blood gods. Bam. Skulls for the Here skulls. We go. Throw. That's three, skulls eight, uh, 12, 17. I will block the 4-4 four, four thing that does damage when you cast spells. The pink With horror. first strike, yeah. Pink horror, okay. So, so we'll kill that, and you'll have your... Black. It'll make two guys. It'll make two, two little, little duders. Got the tokens there. These guys will go there. So you'll take 13. I will play for my next my next trick. Actually, I'm going to tap everything here. I will play the Horus Heresy. Now... <laughs> All right. We're going to start a bit deeper into the series. Um, we're going to start with Vengeful Spirit. Now, when it says read the saga, it actually means off the card, not off the book. Part one, fathers. Where are the tombs of dead gods? What way? Wailing mourner pours wine I can't see the, the words, she said. That's a good story, said the person in front Didn't of her. I tell you, it was going to be okay. Is it over? Yeah, it's over. <sighs> Now, I'll read the Josh, card. It's over. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, hello. I've been paying attention this whole time. The Horus Heresy. Okay, cool. Okay, that'll trigger Cascade. That will trigger Cascade. Uh, does the Cascade happen before? Yeah. Okay. So this is on the stack. Cascade goes on top of it. So yeah. you'll flip cards until you reveal something that costs five or less. <sighs> and you can cast that for free. So now you got three mana in your mana pool. Okay, yes. so three mana in my mana pool. That'll trigger your blue horrors, and you'll have two, two damage. damage. To, that'll ping to him. Okay. So I'll go to three. 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 Then the Horus Heresy resolves and you get to do its chapter one trigger. Yeah, let's take Thunderwolf Cavalry. Okay. Okay. Good. Okay. Uh, so I have three mana. Then I will cast, I will use these four to cast Assault Suit. Mm -hmm. Trigger Cascade. Trigger Cascade. So looking for three or less this time. Keep going. Uh, is it three or less, or is it equal? Cascade is the part. That yeah. Matters. Oh, okay. Cascade is inherently three. It'll be less than the cost of the spell that you cast. Okay, gotcha. So would that be four? So you three need three or less. Three or less. Okay. okay, so keep going. That's it. Is, okay. So you, you gotta, cast a Wayfarer's wave wave Bobble. Mm -hmm. This uh, goes on the bottom of your library. Okay. So I probably want to put it on this guy, okay? Because this will just bump it up for defense. I don't know how much flying damage you have coming at me. Lethal. Yeah, it's yeah. Nice. So it won't matter. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So I will put that on there just because har har. Um, and that I think is uh, it for me. Yeah. I will untap. Yep. Upkeep and draw. <laughs> mm. I'll play this uh, sunken hollow untapped and just for fun. We'll pay four, two, 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 two for four squads of Ultramarines Anur Guards. Anur Guards. Yep. <clears throat> Anur Guards. And so other creatures I control currently get plus five, plus five. I would like to move to the murder you step. Yeah, yeah. That is sufficient damage. Oof. That is sufficient damage. Wow. Ooh, what a game. Yeah. Yeah. Give a hand check for a good game afterwards. Oh, oh, of course we yeah. did. Good game. 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 Good game, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, uh, these decks were fantastic. Yeah. I had a good time. Did you all have fun? Yeah. yeah absolutely. Awesome. This one's really punchy. Yeah, it's very mm -hmm. punchy. Um, I'm kind of surprised. That one, that one swung a couple times, but I never really felt out of it. I think St. Catherine is kind of a roundhouse kick. Yeah. I With with my deck, I definitely felt like I had more mana than I... like. So the, the, the awkward part about this deck was that I drew into a lot of 4 and 5 drops. So even though I had like 10 mana, I was only able to do like basically one thing per turn. Right. 
Um, and that's kind of not where I wanted to be. I maybe shouldn't have gotten rid of the um, the uh, Hedron Archive, but I needed the cards. I was kind of almost hellbent at that point. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I don't know. It was definitely very synergistic, but I kind of felt like I was sp- spinning my wheels a little bit. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. What did you guys think? Obviously, this. I, this I, I, I think Quasar yeah. Rayfax is kind of a house, but yeah. yeah. I think you also might have uh, suffered from the predations of chaos because you had a lot of value that was being stolen by the ruinous powers. I only stole like one and then he got it back anyways. <laughs> I, yeah, like I can see the synergy, but it's definitely one of those things of like, I feel like I need to play it a bunch of That's times to I'm just get too. like in the headspace because there were a lot of synergies I saw mm-hmm. that I'm like, oh yeah, this this just makes perfect sense. Um, but it like only made really perfect sense when it was in play. Like I had a couple moments where I was like, oh yeah, this is really good. But the thing that was making spawns for you was, was putting great. in great work. Yeah, like yeah. getting both of those enchantments out was awesome. Yeah. Um, but again, like the board state was a bit weird at that point because Alex had like a billion little guys. Like at one point I was like, I'm going to chaos mutate everything on your side of the yeah. table and be like, draw all your cards, Alex. Just have everything. I just want to see what happens. <laughs> well, that yeah. was why like I was working with that edict creature yeah. and I was like, you know, I can like flashback Marauder you guys and cause you all to sacrifice a creature, but you've each got 15 creatures on the board and I'm like, they're all yeah. just yeah. that does not yeah. yep. that does not uh, I will say, I think the Aetherize into Exterminatus was probably where the game turned. That's yeah. Yeah. Without yeah. me basically saving all my stuff and everyone else losing it, I don't think I do what I do there. Yeah. Um, yeah. Because that we, put me in a commanding lead with 56 life. We we joked yeah. a little bit about you having tons of card in sand, cards in hand and then the Exterminatus made it really matter. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So. And so, no, that was pretty good overall. Uh, we just want to say thank you so much to both Josh and Thurston yeah. for coming out today. Uh, thank you. Do you want to talk about anything before we get going? Yeah, where can they find you? Uh, you can find Competitively Narrative on Facebook at facebook.com slash Competitively Narrative. Unfortunately, we do focus on local events, so unless you're in uh, the city that we're in, uh, you won't be able to come to our events. But if you are, please come and join us. Uh, yeah, that's about it. Oh, hi. Um, you got so much more. I'm just giving you my time. Yeah. Uh, hi, thanks for having me, guys. Uh, I you can find me on all the things at on call GM. Uh, uh, compare or sorry, competitive, competitively narrative also, but also uh, narrative declaration. I'm a very narrative focused person. Uh, narrative declaration That's where uh, I GM uh, sometimes for some of our online shows. Otherwise, um, find me uh, at on call GM because I do a lot of things there. I write the tabletop RPGs and read the Warhammer and paint the Warhammer and thank the thanks again. This is fun. This is awesome. Thank yeah, you. I'm glad. I'm Real fun. Yeah. Uh, speaking of fun, if you want to have some fun, you can head over to face2facegames.com and you can use code SPIKEFEEDERS to fa- save 5% off on all of your Magic the Gathering and other hobby supplies through face2facegames.com. We really like them as a sponsor, so appreciate you folks checking that out. And in the meantime, if you want to get one of these decks, you can become a patron of ours. As soon as this episode goes live, we're going to have a thing in our Discord giving these decks away. Go check that for details. They will be signed by the players. These are Ooh. game decks. They're going to come in these sleeves. So check it out. Uh, Thanks so much for your support over the years, and we hope you have a great day. Hey, thank you for checking out the Spike Feeders on YouTube. If you're not subscribed yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button before you close the window, or you can click on this link to check out our other great videos. 